we got something for you. It is the Blood Bowl League of Australia and New Zealand. Championships 5 Grand Final. Masters of the Necroverse versus De Bombers. Let's have a quick look at their teams and how they got here, eh? De Bombers, coached by Spoonman with the Orcs, with an impressive record of 13 1 1. But a couple key pieces missing for this game. With the troll uh, copying, looks like a movement bus in the last game. And the Black Orc, a uh, block mighty blow Black Orc at that, picking up an MNG. A couple of key pieces here. Uh, level 4 thrower uh, with block accurate and uh, kickoff return. Should uh, come in handy. He's got a movement up uh, tackle mighty blow piece as well as a blodge tackle mighty blow piece. And then the old faithful p mighty blow piling on. Strength up Black Hawk. Pretty good replacement for a uh, troll, particularly with block. Uh, just missing the mighty blow there, I guess. And also a block guard, Blackhawk, rounding things out. Not to mention, not last but not least, uh, the Agi for a lineman should uh, help out as well. So he's on 1650, and uh, his opponent, uh, Yasmir, uh, with Masters of the Necroverse on 1720. So both teams fairly close in TV, so we won't have any wizards or anything like that. <coughs> we might. There might be a scum of a wizard. There is a bit of spare cash around. Yasmir on 18-2-1. So even, an even better record there with a couple extra games under the team's belt. <coughs> Two blodge werewolves. Uh, one with tackle. And Fleshy's also got a couple levels with a block guard and a block. Very nice. And a white... With a guard stand firm, another white with strength up, mighty blow tackle. A level three ghoul with blodge sure hands. Rounding it out with a block tackle zombie. Cheeky dirty player and a standard uh, block zombie as well. So these guys are kicking off as we speak. And this is for bragging rights to take out the championship of uh, season five. So let's see if they've started and we'll jump right in shall we. Yasmir versus Spoon Man. Um, we'll just take it back a notch so we get to see the kickoff, or the toss of the coin, I should say. Spoonman with four re-rolls. That is a fair whack. And Yasmir wins the toss and chooses to receive, so he'll be smacking some orcs first with that claw of his wolves. Fans coming out for this game by the look of things, but uh, Masters of Necroverse have got a couple more, so they've got the plus one fame for the game.
so Yasmir with 13 players giving a bench of two opting to keep both ghouls on for the first half I do like that option that choice I should say uh, I myself prefer the extra movement and the extra edgy three pieces on the field I find Necro have a sort of a, a, a movement that most uh, opposition uh, don't expect. First hit of the game is just block versus block. <coughs> Second hit though, taken down a black orc. And a loner black orc at that, so that means Spoonman did spend some money uh, to pick up a loner black orc to fill that MNG black orc. I dare say he will miss the troll though he'll be he'll be used to playing with the troll and four black orcs missing a severe piece of strength there and the white mighty blow hit get nothing but pushes opting to go with a white blitz instead of a claw blitz. It was enough assist to uh, go for the Black Orc with claw, then opting to go for a mighty blow hit. <coughs> Considering claw brings an AV down to seven, and mighty blow only adds one. Or technically should have a higher chance of removal or at least a higher chance of arm break uh, we did miss that kickoff event where uh, looks like both teams picked off picked up a free reroll and unfortunately for Yasmir one of those rerolls is now gone and the block skull into block skull takes down the mighty spectre zombie. So Spoonman's turn one. And the ball hasn't been picked up. And it's very, very deep. I imagine if he takes down Whiplash with Tactar, the Blitzer, he'll uh, be able to put some pressure on around here. Uh, opting instead to go for the Wolf. Tackle. Cancelling dodge there. Ooh, an armor break. Will he pile on? We'll put him in a precarious position. Oh dear, he's gone for it. And does not get rewarded. So I dare say Yasmir is thinking, I'm going to foul that blitzer. Because that's how you start piling on. You punish it. And the rumble in the midfield continues. I'm sure we're about to see a bit more. I think after that turnover on turn one, Yasmir should probably move some pieces down towards the ball first. It's very deep. Thankfully for Yasmir, he's got some guard to cancel out the Black Hawks guard. Can he 
Making some pals, but no armor breaks. Orc's armor 9 is pretty tough. Can't get much tougher. Unless you're Morgan Gog, he's got armor 10. Blitz coming in from the Mighty Blow Tackler again, and double skulls, jeez. Two rerolls burnt in two turns from Yasmia, so far getting a bit unlucky. With the dice. Oh, and he's trying to dodge the dirty player out. Um, I'm not entirely sure about that one. That's uh, got to be a misclick. That, that, that's terrible. That's a, that's a four plus, five plus dodge. From tackle zone into a tackle zone. What are you thinking, Yasmium? And once again, your ghouls are standing in the middle of the field and the ball is in your touchdown. Oh dear. Oh, there we go. Some uh, payback for those double skulls. It's only fair if your opponent gets double skulls. You should get some double skulls. So, so far, Yasmir has had very little luck. With a skull both down, re-rolled into a skull both down on turn one. Stopping, well, turning his turn over before he could even move his ghouls towards the ball. Safe moves first, guys. At least protect the ball, or... You now you've got a one in nine pick up here with sure hands. And then this five plus dodge on turn two. Turning him over. Uh, yeah, I'm guessing he, he missed. He misread Blackhawk sitting there and forgot about the tackle zone. That's why you should take your time with your clicks, guys. And now, Battle Cat the second is uh, stuck on the sideline. Find a strength five block black orc. It's a bit nasty. Okay. This time will you pick up the ball, please? Both of Yasmin's wolves are on the floor. Guard helping out there. And of course the strength up. Finding the powers that he needs to free up the white. Oh, and an armor break. First armor break of the game, I think. At least against the orcs. <clears throat> now, I think you should blitz down Mac the Thrower. The Skeletor. Then after that blitz, follow up to uh, add the assist attack down and then take him down. But Yasmir opting not to head that route. The benefit of that route would have been freeing up the werewolf He-Man to uh, head down this way. Assuming, of course, you've got to take down Mac. Uh, there's some threats here on the ball, though. This black blitzer and this thrower. Um, okay. Opting to take the hit 
with man at arms before picking the ball up. There we are now the same level of failure with our one in nine. Causing a re-roll there. <laughs> And it does mean that we're not going to see a blitz. Ooh! Cheeky couple dodges. With a 4 plus, 3 plus, 3 plus to get away. Trying to uphill a black orc. Not paying off. So he has been very lucky to get Battle Cat out. Trying to create some sort of screen in front of the ball. He's very lucky he's playing orcs and their movement being quite low. If he was up against uh, Skaven or any of the elf teams, I dare say he'd be one down now. There is a beer stand, which is quite interesting. So far, the orcs are staying away from the sidelines. Comes a mighty blow hit on another on the wolf, he man. Tackle again. Uh oh. He's just stunned. So, there's been a couple cases where uh, the wolves have been hit by Mighty Blow. Spoon Man not managing to uh, remove them from the game. So, once again, this is the BBL ANZ Championship 5 Grand Final Game. Yasmir versus Spoonman. Both of these teams with only one loss and one draw to their name and plenty of wins. Uh, 18 for Yasmir's Masters of Necroverse and 13 for Spoonman. No problem at all, Monkey Chucks. <coughs> so far, it's been fairly entertaining. I think uh, a couple of bad dice and uh, misclick has put Yasmir in a bit of a tough spot. And now he's basing with the ball. Take down there. Ball is not safe. He has. It's going okay for me. Uh, not so well for Yasmir. He, uh, although with that removal, it might uh, start to turn things in his favour. Certainly needs something. What was he thinking about? He was thinking about the Apo. Very early Apo. For a block lineman. Oh. 
Uh oh. So, <clears throat> let's that one go. Uh, Yasmin uh, chose to receive. Um, and then he only got a couple hits in and a blitz. The fourth hit of his turn one, he rolled skull both down and a skull both down on a piece without block. Um, so that turned over his turn one. Before his ghoul, either of his ghouls had moved towards the ball, which was right back here. And then turn two. For some strange reason, uh, after rolling a double skull and, and re rolling into skull power, he uh, picked up the mighty spectre and dodged from this spot to this spot. Or at least he tried to dodge. It failed miserably because it was a 5 plus. It was a dodge out of a tackle zone from this black orc that was standing here into a tackle zone that to this black orc that was still there. And now having a one die and re roll. Oh dear. So those first two turns uh, left both of his ghouls hitting in the middle of the field and the ball down here. Um, and it gave Spoonman some time to get some orcs down here. Start to pressure their ball. And as you... Oh, jeez. I'm not sure about that dodge he has me. Another four plus dodge. Was it five plus? No, it's four plus. Because he had the three plus one. <coughs> so, no removals against the necros, but for the necros. That block climate just went out as you rocked up. Good evening, Razor Sharp. How are you? And this little fella piling on for the second time in this game. And failing for the second time in the game. He has uh, no care at all for his life. Uh, he Man has also taken a couple of hits by Mighty Blow. Been stunned once. Unfortunately for Yasmir, he hasn't been able to protect his wolves. Uh, one ended up on the sideline over here for a while and managed uh, some cheeky dodges. I probably would have blitzed with that guy if I was Spoon Man, but what do I know? I'm doing okay. <clears throat> Not 100%. Little bit sick. Yeah, bit of a lurgy. It's going around at work. So, opting to go for the tackle hit instead and uh, the 1 in 9 dodge. Finding the power on Teela. Spilling the ball free, but not so free because it is against two tackle zones. Um, okay. Opting to move Rognik. Oh dear. If I were going to take that one die block, I probably would have moved Rognik afterwards. Um, because now the ball's on the wrong side. And he was here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So he could have gotten him over here. But just now we've got a bit of a brawl in the backfield. <laughs> it has. There's been no alcohol intakes. Just on the water. All right, Yasmir, safe moves first, buddy. Pick this fella up, move him in. Pick him up, leave him there. Pick him up, move him in. 
Hit him down. Free up He Man. So TVs are 1650 for the Orcs and uh, 1790 for Yasmir, I think. Um, this Black Orc blocker was the inducement. Because Spoonman's Orcs uh, had an MNG Black Orc and a s movement busted troll. So Yasmir doing what I th I would have done, freeing up the wolf. I approve. Now trying to do something about these orcs around the ball. Getting guard in there does mean there is a two die on this guy, but it's the two die into an uphill because frenzy can be a serious pain oh geez the three plus dodge blitz from Manny faces ha <laughs> Manny faces and only finding bushes and they go for it to help out Oh, shite. Yasmir's block dice have been pretty atrocious. So, four plus dodge? Four plus pickup? Three plus dodge? You try and run away. If you're going to do that, though, you should probably think about what you're going to do with Teela. Uh, nothing. BB lands, does run two minute turns. Something I myself am not used to. Sometimes I find when I'm not playing in the Champions ladder that three minutes uh, I miss a couple of couple of couple of movement towards the end of my turn. But two minute turns is great viewing for everybody else. But that black orc able to do as he pleased because Teela didn't want to stand up. Well, that's fair enough, because Teela's only AV7 and has no regen, and there's two mighty blow tackle orcs inside of her, him, it, our ghouls, genderfied. Arms being smacked onto the ball and freeing it up for Rocknick to uh, pick it up. Shall he please? Shooting it to he. Actually, I think orcs are technically um, genderless, aren't they? Being driven from uh, mushrooms or something fungus although no mushrooms don't have genders do they oh, ask. oh dear Spoonman in a fantastic position now this was Yasmir's drive. Now he is down 1-0. T 
terrible offensive drive there by Yasmir. He's going to be uh, really struggling here now. He's going to have to uh, try and at least level the score before the half. Uh, Spoonman has been setting up quite spread out to uh, restrict any quick scoring. And uh, putting his strength force forward. Strength fives as well, that is. See, the cheerleaders just have... I mean, okay, let's have a look. Maybe they're just orcs that uh, gotten a bit on and uh, let their pectorials succumb to gravity. So, Yasmir, assuming the kick isn't ridiculously long. <laughs> yep, some pretty boring walls. You'd want to hope that Battle Cat gets a double uh, for his next level. He's still 10 away from it. That being said, He Man. Uh, Pretty close. So we've got Skeletor and many faces. Man at Arms and Teela. The Mighty Spectre. And Masters of the Necroverse with another free reroll. Another fairly deep kick though. Not as deep as the last, but annoying none the least. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Going for the hits again first. Locking on the angles to uh, increase his chances of taking down these LOS pieces. Oh! Agi 4 lineman on the line. Huh. Yes, there's not many options. Push. Oh, whiplash. Now you're going to take the block. Hmm. Guess it doesn't matter too much. Uh, your pieces aren't going to benefit at all. Blitzing with Merman and following up. Okay. So we've got a gap now. <laughs> Bush, he certainly needs some energy. Uh, he's had a shocking first five turns. This was his drive, and uh, Spoonman was able to score on score instead. So he's basing up as many orcs as he can now. Yeah, which probably means He-Man or Battle Cat or both of them are going to head down through the gap. I suspect both of them. I'll cut around that way. He meant around that way. Man at arms should take a couple steps back. Allowing for the easy handoff next turn. He does have 
three turns though, or two after this one, to attempt to level up, level the uh, score. He goes sure hands goal, picks it up, takes two steps forward. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay. What you gonna do, man at arms? Stay where you are. Move two over, maybe? Three over? Problem with not moving over is uh, sort of follow <laughs> through here might, might get him marked up. But I suspect. Yep. These wolves will get marked up. You're gonna see a go for it in a black orc? Yes we are. And that means Taktar's probably gonna try and take down Battle Cat the second. And he will pile on. There'll be no doubt about it. Okay, I'm wrong. Yeah, Bush, these orcs are not as scary as some teams. They are also missing a troll for this match, uh, taking a movement bust in the last game, and uh, having to rely on a loner black orc. Ooh. Finally, a removal for Spoonman. And uh, the mighty spectre, the dirty, dirty zombie. Taking a little nap. So we've used the blitz back here on one of the scoring threats. Many faces. He's probably going to see as dodge away. Oh, jeez. Going for the three plus dodge from Mac before Ask. That mean that Ask is gonna stay still? Apparently so. So He Man's in trouble once again. Battle cats on the ground. Oh dear. The uh, double skulls coming up for the second time for Yasmin. Hit the line, man. Well done, safe moves first. Two die here. Ooh, he's going with the blitz as well. Once again, Yasmir's dice are shocking. He uh, forgot to sacrifice a goat before this game because his dice has been very unlucky. Sending down what may be considered another scoring threat. He should probably take another step forward, though. I guess that means we're going to see Man at Arms the second go down this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. Unfortunately, he's had to use the reroll, so this three plus pass handoff is going to be a little scary. Finding a pal in the lineman. Um, a nine. Too strong. The problem we've got, well, the problem Yasmir's got, is uh, this blitzer is free. 
free to do as he pleases next turn. So, ah, oh, nowhere is safe for the ball. Oh, jeez. Uh-oh. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, dear. Two, three. Dodge, dodge. Nope. Was that tackle? That was tackle. That was tackle. So... Two and a half scoring threats. Kind of. Three... Four, three, five, three orcs to uh, cancel this out. So, Smash Smasher gets around in front of this werewolf with, with ease. Oh, jeez, Lona, go for it. It was one of the first a actions. Scary stuff. You gonna re-roll that? You've got three. Yes, he does. And just the push. Three, four, another go for it for um, Smash Master if he wants to get in front of this goal. I'm gonna get behind him. Mac is probably gonna stay standing over He Man. Hmm. Yep. So, what do you do here? You're in a bit of a spot of bother as Yasmir because the ball is quite far away from your scoring threats. So he can only get to here. Oof. Yeah. He's gonna need some serious dice. Some serious dice to uh, score here. I probably would have gone for the uh, throw or handoff last turn, but the uh, the um, double skulls eating the reroll before the throw or the handoff is probably what stopped that from occurring. Now, every scoring threat is in trouble. You've only got a minute and a half left, yes. I think your only option is to uh, do like a 4 plus throw into a 4 plus catch. Potentially even a 5 plus throw. And hope the orcs that you're throwing the ball over the top of their heads, can't catch. Roll a six on the intercept. You can't free anybody up that uh, will be able to help out. The blitz. Ah. All the blitz is potentially going to do is eat your reroll. So you may as well just go for this. Inaccurate throw. And the 
reroll. It's useless. Oh dear. So it's going to be a very hard second half for Yasmin out. With the Orcs receiving the ball. So I'll be getting pushed out. Not just pushed out, but knocked out. Too bad. Battle Cat getting pushed around. The first hit. Won't be the last. He does survive the mighty blow piling on, though. Second hit. Finds the pow. And breaks the armor. He's fine, though. Just a stun. We haven't seen any fouls yet from either coach. Um, what? Okay, opting to surf instead of take it down. Fair enough. Oh shit! Man at arms a second has been killed by the crowd. No SPP for Ask, because uh, the crowd just just ripped that poor ghoul apart. Ripped him apart. The plus one from the beer stand. Not exactly needed. Uh, <laughs> but is amusing none the least. Because that's two surfs against Yasmir's own beer stand. Has calling for a no assist foul on the dog. I assume he means with the thrower. Oh, it's it's looking very, very tough for Yasmir here, Spoonman. It's all coming up Millhouse for him. Uh, Yaz does have two spare zombies, but... I mean, it's what ghouls do, right? No regen on a regen team. It means there's no doctor around to uh, save them. No Igor either. Poor fella. Ooh, and the... Knocked out's not coming back either. It's huge. That does mean that uh, I think it's 10 versus 11. Do a bit of quick maths. 4, 3, 3. And 4, 4, 3. It's 10 versus 11. There you go, Bush. Quick maths. Okay. Interesting setup here from Spoonman uh, on the offensive. Not overcommitting to the line one bit. Uh, protecting himself from any sort of blitz shenanigans. And ready to run forward with his, both of his mighty blow blitzes and. Uh, do some damage. The uh, fairly typical rule of five defense from Yasmir. 
protecting his wolves and uh, his sure hands ghoul. Sure hands bludge ghoul at that. Kick off for a turn. Another deep kick. That's three deep kicks this game. Yup, yup. How you doing, buddy? Oh, dear me. Because of that weather, it bounced out. And now, ask. Ask. Just waking up. Jeez, it's 25 past 7 in the evening. Of course, I know that uh, it is certainly not your time. And grab back tear arm. <laughs> Trying to tear apart triclops. But failing. Spoonman saving the hit with his loader till after the ball carrier is safe. As Bush would say, it's safe moves first. The loose cage around the ball. Is it a cage? Or is it more of a... Square escort? Exactly 12 hours ahead, meaning you are on, what, minus 6 UTC? Which is minus 4. Yeah, it's a minus 4. So that is the east coast of the US, right? I think. Toronto. Still haven't made it to Canada myself. It's too bloody cold. Yasmir with a very tough ask now. Having to uh, attempt to rely on his Mighty Blow strength up white to, I assume, try and get some removals. Um, when the werewolves have a slightly higher chance of doing so. Um, but the frenzy means it's very tough to blitz with. I guess you could have. You could have set up two assists. Why? What? What? Okay. I don't know. Don't know about putting your wolves on the line like that. Yes. I mean, Perth has. Perth boy, born and raised, still here. Most isolated capital in the world. Oh, whiplash, KO'd. Some might say uh, he might have a sore neck.
Terra, I'm going to have another shot at Triclops. Oh no, he just got up. What am I talking about? See what happens when you put your wolf in the front like that? He gets piled on, maybe? Yes, he does. Oh, shit. Tactar with his third pile on of the game. KO's Battle Cat. The second. I don't know what happened to the first one. I think we try not to think about that. Don't open old wounds. Is it? I think purse around 2.4 million now. Australia as a whole is about 24. Jeez, chat is getting riled up. Energy being thrown around left, right and centre. Mostly just left and right. So far, nobody has split, split the middle. I would like to see some uh, wolf blitzes, to be honest. I'm not sure I agree on the reliance of many faces. But. does mean that your uh, frenzy pieces aren't getting out of hand. Hey! I think that might be the first foul of the game. And the ref didn't see it. Oh shit, that's what you want to see, isn't it? First block of the turn, double skulls. We rolled into double powers. And triclops. Been smacked by Grub Ak Terram again. And big boy Smash Calf. Strength 5, Black Orc. Moving down to uh, say hello to He Man. So don't forget, we've used the reroll already. Once again, the uh, injuries here. A man at arms, the ghoul, is dead. Killed by the crowd. And Aurora Zog, the uh, block lineman taken out fairly early with a uh, fractured leg and Spoonman just putting the ball in a neat little cage. Relying mostly on linemen there and a thrower. Turn 11, and Spoonman 
pretty much in control at the moment with four knocked out including one of the wolves and that dead ghoul Strength 5, Blackhawk. Gonna meet the ground. And gonna stay there for a turn. And He Man. Finally, getting to use his claws against this AV9. Tearing it down to AV7. But not getting the break. Uh oh. We're throwing one dies, guys. Are we throwing it again? Only one more piece left. Yes, we are. And once again, Yasmir's dice. Slightly below average. With pushes and skulls and both downs. Being the flavour of the day. Yasmir essentially creating a hypercube. For Spoon Man. Seven man c ball cube. I'm getting a little bit of a reprieve with this, uh, Knock out of Smash Calf. Oh dear. A mighty blow piling on Blitzer. Taking down Skeletor. See what happens. No break. But he's probably going to pile on. Yep. He's terrible piling on, isn't he? Absolutely useless. I think that's about the fifth piling on. And, uh, fourth time it has failed to break armor. Or make it better than a stun. And because He Man's stuck down here, uh. Oof, one, one dice. Oof. One dice with block, though. Not, 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 not overly terrible. Just the one in six failure state. Some shit armor dice. Double once. It's certainly looking like that way so far, Monkey Jacks. Uh, 
I didn't check, but I assume that this game goes to uh, overtime. Assuming, of course, Yasmir can get the ball off these fellas and uh, all the way up here. So far, though, Spoonman has it all in hand and he doesn't need to take any risks. Okay, Bush, I uh, can pick that one up after this one if you like. Yasmir is going to have to start throwing bodies against that orc cage. He needs to get... Wolf around the back, a little scoring threat. And he's to next turn he needs to base the hell out of this this cage. Otherwise all Spoon Man needs to do is just, uh, hell, he could even take a couple steps back. Or just play with it in the center of the field. with a couple of black orcs on oh 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 what are you doing what are you doing With a five plus three plus dodge, you could get a one die on the ball. It's again. Has me just finding pushes. He's pacing up though. The only problem is, is there's nothing stopping the orcs from getting around this way. And another failed block. He man will dodge out. Tila, you're acting as a safety. Mm, okay. Opting instead to throw a one dice and take down the NG4. See, what do I know about Blood Bowl? Nothing. Or at least, certainly not enough to, uh, to uh, figure out beforehand what uh, Yasby is going to do. Dear, blood is a lie.
I don't know about that, Darby. There's not much you can do to stop your opponent rolling pals. With this switch, though, um, even with Teela in the backfield here, especially with the big strength five Black Orc in the centre of the field. Looking less and less likely that Yasmin is going to be able to do anything about this. Orcs just too strong here. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah. With one of his wolves off the field, the other one on the floor, makes the tackle. Three turns to go. At this stage, without a bit of divine intervention, Spoonman's going to take out this uh, championship. Particularly, okay, scoring threat. Is uh, rich coming from you, Bush? Nope. Yasmir's dice are uh, not allowing him to get anywhere in this game. Can He Man do anything about this? Nope. He's just going to fail a dodge and get stunned by the ground. And Triclops seems to have been moved more by the orcs than himself. It almost feels like he's been pushed all the way down the field. And Teela's gonna get hit! Oh no! Tackle! Bowling on? I don't like this bowling on. Even if it does get him a knockout. Yeah, to be honest, uh, there haven't been that many good opportunities for fouls. He's a beer stand, though. Always fun to season it. The stadium enhancements on the side of the field. Or in the case of a security gate, getting in the way of the cameraman. 
Are we going to see a nice loose screen here, or are we going to see a cage? Because, um... There's five knocked out and one dead. You kind of don't need a cage. Flashies are stuck. By the way, this lineman. Uh, this, this lineman. There you go. There you go. Is it running away, or is it a scoring threat, or is it both? Fouls can be seen as a second blitz action. Oh. Many faces. Boo. Look, armor holding strong in this game. He has me praying for double skulls into double skulls. And then, even after that, he's going to need some serious dice to get this ball. Not how you dodge with the flesh golem. That is Ooh, double GFI. Getting amongst it. Merman. Trying to be an elf. Triclops. Getting pushed downwards again. Let's sing with a loner. Oi. Okay. It's okay. Oh shit. Ugh. Many faces. I'm getting smacked in the face by Bardock. Bardock. Death throat. And if Ask just wanders in. And the game is most certainly done. I think it is absolutely impossible to win. Technically, a one turn with a riot. And giving you an extra turn into a blitz. That's how Yasmir win uh, draws from here. Uh, not setting up for the one turn means it is GG and the weather rolling nice. Oh, Teela will get an option to throw it.
Beast man taking down Bardock. Skeletor just pushing Mokak. Giving Merman a shot at him. Or, yeah, if we take down Rocknick with Whiplash. Oh, no, no, don't push him there. If he pushed him here, could have had a shot with He-Man. Frenzy, frenzy, double, double. But I guess not. We'll see the blitz from many faces again, I guess. Oh. Many a big O game happening right now by the sounds of things. Many faces, mighty blow, are not needed there. Can that game make any changes to the ladder for Andy there, Bush? And the game ending with a successful pass. Leveling up Triclops! So GG to Spoonman taking out the Championship 5 with the B B L A N Z. Oops. My bad. Um so the Bombers, congratulations. Winning and uh Morknick picking up the uh Mornick picking up the MVP uh, leveling up. Very nice. And the flesh golem for uh, Yasmir is also nice, but uh, touchdown away from leveling. Let's just have a look at the uh, dice rolls quickly. Um, fairly average d6s. Uh, the bomber's rolling a lot of ones. I uh, dare say that they were on the armor rolls. And the block dice, only 11 pounds for Yasmir. Just uh, kind of tells the story there. 23 skulls. And the bombers, block dice. A little better. So congratulations to Spoonman for winning the BBL ANZ Championship 5. Um, I, I I think he may have won a prize. Um, well done to him. And uh, he's now the man to beat for the next season, I dare say. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Uh, I will put this up on 